Government of Nepal also has its planning to promote Ayurveda health care system in Nepal. I believe this conference will help to connect the world with Nepal for the exchange of pure natural herbs and the advanced technology. There are high-value medicinal plants like Yarsagumba, Lotsalla, Amala, etc. in the different regions of Nepal. Lotsalla is good for cancer treatment. Furthermore, Nepal is the homeland for the rare mineral like Silajit. We need to find advanced technology for the processing, packaging and export of these herbs and minerals. Nepal can get financial benefit by the industrialization of Ayurveda medicine. I believe this conference will be the milestone for the development of tools for scientific collection, conservation, processing and industrialization of medicinal plants and Ayurveda medicines. Government of Nepal is willing to support Ayurveda industries. I would like to propose 300-year-old Singadarbar Vaidyakhana as the project for the national pride as it is one of the oldest pharmaceuticals in Nepal since the time of <laughs> Malla dynasty. Alongside, government will support for the research of indigenous medicinal plants and to develop Ayurveda pharmacopoeia and formulary of Nepal. Government will work to make policy of Ayurveda medicine production center and collection and processing an unit for medicinal plant in each provinces. Government will support Nepalese Ayurveda companies to promote quality of Ayurveda medicine as per GMP standard. Government will try to resolve the legal restriction for the trading of medicinal plants essential for the production of Ayurveda medicine. Government will promote the Ayurveda hospital, Panchakarma center and wellness center for the promotion of health tourism in Nepal. As per government policy, 100 bedded Ayurveda hospital will be started soon in all provinces. Government of Nepal will work together with government of India to promote Ayurveda as evidence-based medicine in Nepal.